Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Jessica King. British and NATO ambassadors met with Afghan officials and the Nangahar Provincial Reconstruction Team in Nangahar Province to discuss the area's security and welfare. Mark Sedwell of NATO and British Ambassador to Afghanistan William Patey joined the PRT to tour an area in Jalalabad that suffered heavy damage in floods over the summer. Half the homes have since been rebuilt by international partners. The ambassadors then visited an agricultural research facility, then met with the Nangahar governor and other district and provincial leaders for a traditional Afghan lunch. Sedwell and Paidi took questions from the Afghans and assured them that the international community will not leave Afghanistan until the mission is complete. And while British and NATO forces are taking care of the citizens of Nangahar province, the Koreans are helping out in Parwan. Air Force Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato shows us how thanks to the Korean Vocational Training Center, Afghans can work to make their country a better place. It's a day to celebrate as 84 Afghan students graduate from a Korean Vocational Training Center. These students are the first to graduate from a nine-month-long educational program designed to develop technical skills in several different fields. It is no small feat what these young men have accomplished here today, completing instruction in construction, welding, electricity, computer, and automotive departments. This event symbolizes the hopes and dreams of a better Afghanistan. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, I'm Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato. Okay, thank you.